My, my name is Mukti Zwamkute. I come from Zimbabwe and I work with um, organic farmer associations from eight districts. Uh, and uh, our interest is to identify and reconceptualize the kind of um, sustainability challenges that they are facing and then draw on their knowledge as well as the knowledge of uh, some specialists to try and uh, develop solutions that they then implement and, and reach along the process of implementation. One of the challenges that the farmers uh, have been facing is to do with water. The other one has been to do with how to convert uh, quickly from conventional agriculture to organic uh, farming. So um, what, what is important about how they approach the issue is that when they were looking at uh, transitioning from conventional to um, organic agriculture, they not only acquired new technical knowledge about how to farm organically, but they also had to look for land um, that had not been uh, farmed for some time and that did not have chemicals. Uh, and in order to do that, they had to mobilize each other and approach uh, people that have power to give land um, and people that that had land that was like idle. So that was that was an agency that they exercised in order to get the land. And then using that land, uh, combining it with the technical knowledge uh, to deal with um, transition issues that were necessary. Yes, um, a number of the farmer associations were able to come together and grow, uh, produce crops and market them together and earn much more income than they had ever done while at the same time looking after the environment um, and, and developing capacities of solidarity of working uh, together. Uh, well, there, I think there are different layers of transformation. Uh, one could be to do with um, keeping on doing something that is good and enriching it over time. The other one, which is what we, we are interested in, is fairly fundamental and deep, and it seeks to break um, experiences that are bad, that are uns unsustainable, that are unjust, that, that have been embedded uh, in, in people's practices. So we try to disrupt those and then to find new ways, uh, new, new ways of doing things um, that, are, that are socially just and um, uh, um, uh, ecologically sustainable. We, we have also been uh, looking at, at a lot into how to uh, generate more income uh, uh, for the farmers uh, and, and uh, the farmers themselves doing it. Uh, because what is also important, apart from social justice and ecological uh, sustainability, is making sure that the livelihoods uh, are improved. Uh, the transformation that I would like to see is, is something that should come from, from the farmers uh, themselves. And, and so far, they've identified uh, water as a major challenge in the face of climate change because uh, of dimin diminishing rainfall, um, long dry spells, heat, which increases evapotranspiration. Uh, a lot of them are facing uh, challenges of um, producing over a longer period of time, but also producing uh, on larger pieces of land. So the, the, the solution that they have developed, that they are working on implementing, I think they have understood the, the, the idea conceptually, is about water harvesting. Uh, and water harvesting uh, is at different scales they have historically just uh, harvested water at, at, at micro level, like this bed uh, as well. And, and what, what, what we have done recently is to expose them um, to other farmers in drier regions uh, to learn about how they are harvesting water at bigger scale, two acres, three acres. But beyond that, they've also planned to uh, move uh, into watershed management, which is a broader system and that, that way they can transform not only their immediate uh, gardens, uh, their immediate small, small places, but the whole community. So the solidarity should not just stay within the organic farmer associations if it is to last. 
it has to be integrated into the whole community uh, over time.